Well, Madam Speaker, the 2022 hunting season is drawing to a close, and hunters are celebrating a successful harvest of deer, moose, and other game. But here in Ottawa, the Liberals have set their sight on a very different target. With no warning and no consultation, the Liberals have announced their plan to ban hunting rifles and shotguns. The hunters have become the hunted. Why does this Liberal government always punish law-abiding hunters and sports shooters while giving bail and house arrest for violent repeat offenders? The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Uh, Madam Speaker, uh, in fact, my colleague from the Conservative Party is wrong. Uh, we are not targeting hunters. In fact, I met uh, members of, of the hunting community this morning to assure them that what we are going after are the AR-15 style firearms, which have been used in far too many mass casualties across the country. More than that, we have a plan to tackle illegal smuggling at the border by investing 130... Order. I uh, certainly heard that, and I would ask the Honourable Member for Lethbridge, after uh, the questions and comments, to apologize for her statement. And she she knows that that is not acceptable in this house, and, uh, and I hope that she takes it seriously. The Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Um, thank you, Madam Speaker. And I'm going to set aside that remark that I hope that my colleague will apologize for. It has no place in this chamber. We're trying to have a responsible debate about how to keep Canadians safe, Madam Speaker. And again, we'll continue to go after AR-15 style guns, which have no place in our communities. We'll continue to invest in, in, in stopping illegal smuggling of guns at our borders. Those are initiatives with the, which the Conservatives have voted against, and they should reverse their position. Thank you. Again, I was hearing more voices than the Minister, and I would ask members, again, whether they appreciate the answer or not, that they're here to listen to the answer, and they can follow up with a, a subsequent uh, question. The Honourable Member Sturgeon for River Parkland. Well, Madam Speaker, I won't take any lessons on firearms from a Minister who visited a gun range and was too afraid to even touch one. These Liberals can't tell the difference between a machine gun and a BB gun. While the Liberals plan to waste billions of dollars going after 100-year-old hunting rights, Rifles. Smugglers continue to ship handguns by the thousands over our borders that are being used on our streets. Why are these Liberals so off target on tackling the real sources of violent crime? We are Minister of Public Safety. Madam Speaker, it is very regrettable that today Conservatives are resorting to personal attacks on me, onto members of our side in the government who represent a hunters. Madam Speaker, more to the point, I've met with families who've lost loved ones to gun violence, and I don't know how we look any of them in the, in the eye and don't do the smart, sensible things that we are doing right now, which is to get AR-15-style guns out of our communities, to stop illegal smuggling at our borders, to stop gun crime from occurring at every instance. The Conservatives have filibustered and have gone with falsehoods when they should be supporting these initiatives. Thank you very much. The Honourable Member for Barry Springwater, Oro Madonte. Madam Speaker, last week this Liberal government tabled an amendment to Bill C-21 that would prohibit hundreds of thousands of hunting rifles. This government wants to turn law-abiding hunters and farmers who use rifles as tools to feed their families and protect their livestock into criminals overnight. Yeah. Meanwhile, since this Prime Minister has taken office, violent crime has risen by 32 per cent and gang-related homicides have increased by 92 per cent. Madam Speaker, when will this government focus on the illegal guns that are flooding our streets and the criminals who use them and stop targeting law-abiding hunters and farmers? The Honourable Minister for Rural Economic Development. Madam Speaker, I've been a hunter and fisher all my life. I've got great memories of hunting with my dad, and I wish he was there now because he would support me 100 per cent. Because me and my friends, we've looked at the amendments to C-21. We agree. Every time we see a firearm that kills an innocent person, that hurts a law-abiding gun owner. My friends support C-21. We all have to do our part to get assault style weapons off this planet. Thank you. The only the honourable member the uh, member for Barry honourable member for Barry Springwater or Madonte. Thank you, <laughs> Madam Speaker. Let's talk about some facts. Just yesterday, in the Public Safety Committee, the Liberal government's own firearms expert who helped write Bill C-21 admitted on record that hunting rifles would be banned if this law is enacted. Will the Liberals admit they have made a mistake? Admit these amendments are affecting law-abiding hunters and farmers, and cancel Bill C-21. Minister of Public Safety. Madam Speaker, 
in fact, the expert that my colleague is referring to refuted many of the misnomers and inaccuracies that the Conservatives continue to perpetrate. More to the point, we have a plan, Madam Speaker, to eradicate gun violence once and for all. That includes investments at our borders to support CBSA the Conservatives voted against. That includes addressing gun crime at its root causes. We invested $250 million. The Conservatives voted against. It also includes common sense laws like Bill C-21 so that we can get those guns that have no place in our communities off our streets once and for all. Thank you. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Madam Speaker, we need to keep our communities safe from handgun violence, and this government promised to do that. But at the 11th hour, the government slipped an amendment into C-21 that is not about dealing with handguns. Instead, the government is now targeting, quote, rifles and shotguns with detachable clips. This is a huge overreach that will impact rural, northern, and indigenous people, and this government needs to fix this. So will the Attorney General ensure that this legislation on handguns is not going to target legitimate hunters and rural people. The, the Honourable Minister of Public Safety. Well, I thank my colleague uh, for the question, and I can assure him and the NDP, and in fact all parliamentarians who want to advance a responsible debate about this, that we are not going to target those guns which are used conventionally for hunting. We are targeting those guns, like AR-15 style firearms, which have caused too many casualties right across the country, Madam Speaker. And I know that my colleague and I and others who are, again, contributing to a responsible debate about this will get there. What's important is that we keep our streets safe from gun violence, and that's exactly what we are going to do. Thank you. Excellent.